Welcome to the University of West London's Dante Controller and RedNet Device Configuration Tutorial. In this video, we will be explaining how to use the Dante Controller application for routing signals between the RedNet converters and HDX Bridge in our studios. Digital audio workstations, or DAWs, can only read digital formats. This means an analog signal must be converted to a digital signal before being sent to a door. When sending signals out of a door, the digital signal must be converted into an analog signal so that it can be used by analog equipment. Our studios use the Focusrite RedNet 1 and RedNet 2 analog to digital and digital to analog converters and the Focusrite RedNet 5 HDX bridge. These devices communicate via a Dante network and as such are known as Dante enabled devices. Dante is an industry standard protocol used for routing audio signals between hardware devices via a network. The Dante controller application manages the routing of signals between Dante enabled devices. Now we will look into how to configure Dante controller. Let's begin. To check the configuration, open the Dante controller application. Here you will see the software automatically discovers all Dante enabled devices connected to the network. These are displayed in the routing tab. In our studios, this should be the RedNet converters and the HDX bridge. If you don't see any devices, make sure the units are powered on. If they are still not displayed, check the correct Dante network interface is selected. Open the Configure Dante interface window and check that the IP address begins with 169 and that the interface is showing a connection of 1 gigabit. If this is not the case, select an alternative network interface from the drop-down menu. Once the correct Dante interface is selected, we can then check the routing of the signals between the devices. The devices are shown as Dante transmitters and receivers. Relating to audio, the transmitters are the outputs and the receivers are the inputs. Remember signal flow is linear and acts just like a river flowing to its final destination. If blocked, the flow will stop. Let's look at routing the signal from the analog to digital converters to the RedNet 5 HDX bridge. As the analog signal has been sent into the converters, we need to look at their digital output or transmit. Click the plus button next to the name of the converter transmitters in order to see the available output channels. Click the plus button next to the receiver device you want the signal to be routed to. In our studios, this will be the RedNet 5 HDX bridge. Quite often, the default routing will be in place. If this is not the case, simply click on the routing matrix at the intersection between the transmit and receive channels to route the signal. Use the dark blue lines to locate your cursor position. In studios that have a combination of both RedNet 1 and RedNet 2 converters, the RedNet 2 is always connected to channels 1 through to 16, and the RedNet 1 is connected to channels 17 through to 24. We can now check the routing from the door to the converters. From the door, the digital signal passes through the HDX card and into the RedNet 5 HDX bridge, which has now become our transmitter. Expand the routing grid for both the transmitter and the receivers, which in this case is now the converters. Again, the default routing should normally be in place. If this is not the case, simply click on the routing matrix at the intersection between the transmit and receive channels to route the signal. As long as the sample rates match on all the devices, you should now have green ticks and corresponding metering on both the devices. The following are some troubleshooting exercises in case you are still having issues with your routing. Previous connection. If someone has been using another Dante-enabled device on the network, such as their own laptop, and not rerouted the signal between the RedNet devices, it will present a warning symbol on the associated receiver. In order to identify this, expand the routing grid for both the transmitter and the receivers. Hovering the cursor over the warning symbol shows the previously connected devices. To correct the routing, Click within the routing matrix at the intersection between the transmit and receive channels to route the signal of the required devices. Sample rate mismatch. If Dante controller is showing a no entry symbol, the error is most likely a sample rate mismatch between the devices. Hovering over the no entry symbol in the routing matrix will give an incorrect channel format error message. Look on the front panel of the RedNet devices to check their sample rates. To correct the sample rate mismatch, open the RedNet Control 2 application. Click the lock symbol to unlock the controls. Set the sample rate to match that of your session using the tab sample rate drop-down menu and then click Conform. 
In Dante Controller, the no entry symbol should have changed to green ticks to indicate a successful connection. This may take 30 seconds for the software to update. If nothing changes, click refresh. Congratulations, you have routed signal using Dante Controller between the RedNet converters and HDX Bridge. You are now ready to record your work.